Okay, so now we're going to have a look at um, the paper one exam. We're going to have a look at topic one, all about hazardous earth, looking at um, this section on climate. So this question is asking you about the natural causes of climate change. So it's a four mark question. So you are look, being asked for two different causes or natural causes of climate change. The importance in this question is talking about natural causes of climate change. So something that does not happen as a result of human activity. Most people when they are answering this question and when it has come up in past papers will refer to global warming and the human impact to climate change. However, you'll receive no marks in this question if you talk about human factors. So make sure you focus in on those natural causes. So I put three different images or diagrams in front of you, which will show you about your natural causes of climate change. The first mark is for identifying that cause of climate change. The second mark is for explaining how that affects the climate. So does it increase it? Does it decrease it? And why is that taking place? So I want you to pause the clip for me now. Have a go answering this question. Make sure you talk about two of the images in front of you and explain why it is that they have an impact on our climate. OK, so give the clip a pause for me now and then have a go answering that question. OK, welcome back. So we're going to have a look through the answer to that now. So the first image that you have in front of you is your volcanic activity. So there's one mark for stating volcanic activity. The second mark is for explaining how that volcanic eruption is going to lead to climate change. So most people in this answer will get two marks because they will be able to identify that factor, but it's about linking that back to climate and how it has changed. So volcanic activity, large volcanic eruptions put lots of ash and dust into the atmosphere, which might block out the sun, dropping the temperatures or making it colder. So they have to explicitly refer to the climate in their answer to get that second mark. So here, this makes it colder because it has blocked out the sun. You could talk about here that volcanic activity releases greenhouse gases such as um, sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide, which over a longer period of time may lead to a slight warming in the atmosphere. However, don't get confused with that answer. I would suggest talking about your cooling. The second one is about eccentricity. So eccentricity is all about your Earth's orbit around the sun. So the Earth's orbit changes. Sometimes it is more circular, sometimes it is more elliptical. So when you have a circular orbit, the climate is usually warmer, whereas when it is elliptical, it is more straight extreme. So you can see the elliptical one here. At points, it is further away from the Earth and at points it is closer to the um, sorry, further away from the sun. And at some points it is closer to the sun, leading to glacial and interglacial periods. And then finally, sunspots. So sunspots are dark spots on the sun. Um, which means that they will emit more solar radiation, meaning that there will be higher temperatures experienced on Earth. So give yourself a mark for that question. Thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed the clip and found it useful for all your geography revision needs, please hit the like button below. If you want access to more content like this, more revision playlists, more exam technique and feedback, please subscribe to the channel. Regular content will be added and updated to help support you on your GCSE journey.